The Dane County Jail will begin facility-wide testing for both inmates and essential staff after 16 newly discovered cases. Among inmates, Maddie O'Neill spoke with a family who says their loved one, loved one is among them, and Maddie joins us downtown near the jail. Maddie? So this decision for facility-wide testing comes after four inmates in the same pod in the public safety building tested positive over the weekend. So then they tested the rest in the pod, 22 inmates. Of those, 12 were found to be positive. So that brings the total number of positive cases in inmates up to 26. Six deputies have also tested positive, but soon the National Guard will be helping out to make sure everyone is tested, inmates and essential staff included. It's very stressful. Chantel Washington's family looks forward to his phone calls from the Dane County Jail. But Monday arrived with bad news when the inmate told them he has COVID-19. He has seven sisters and, and, and three brothers, so they, we're all concerned. We scared, man. We been praying. The Chicago family says Washington told him he'd been put in a solitary confinement cell, and they're worried he's not getting the medical care he needs. We take our responsibility to pr protect and provide a safe and healthy environment very serious, and we're doing that. Dane County Sheriff Mahoney says that means a 24-7 medical team, no outside visitation, plenty of masks, and high-tech disinfecting equipment, along with paying inmates to do additional cleaning. Officials have also worked to cut the jail population in half to just about 400, already releasing inmates who meet the criteria and are considered safe to be released. In an attempt to do social distancing, but even then it's difficult. That's because Mahoney says they're confined by space in the aging jails. With a current setup, some inmates diagnosed with COVID-19 are placed in solitary confinement cells while still receiving the same care and treatment as others. Mahoney says the county's new plan Plan jail set to open in 2024 that has a tower with hospital style housing would have been able to better contain the virus. The infrastructure that we have, we're doing the best that we can, but we can do better. While it's too late to contain the virus from inmates already infected, the Washington family has a plea going forward. We're just pleading for help for our, for our brother to just get the help that he needs. Of those inmates who recently tested positive, 10 of them didn't have symptoms. Mahoney says group quarantine options are possible for those who have tested positive. Now this facility-wide testing will begin as early as Friday.